What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general message for the star sign of Sagittarius from the April 6th to 11th, 2020. So take it resonates. Leave my does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to you, because specifically for your storyline in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I've pulled two cards from the Normand, two cards from the manga. One was a clarity card. So strap in tight. Let's get right into it. We have the fox and the mice from the Lenormand. We have the five of swords with the high priestess outcome. So honestly, right away, right away, this is all the same fucking energy. And I'm going to make it apparent with this one. The five of swords represents somebody that is sneaky on purpose. He is somebody that doesn't really care about other people's feelings. And he takes as he likes. He is somebody that... This is kind of a situation where they're having a friendly sword fight just to kind of hone in on their skills. And not only did he kind of win, he kind of... He kind of took their belongings from them afterwards. He was kind of an asshole about it. It was a situation in which he could have been kinder about this, but he's stepping on toes on purpose. He's kind of in it to win it for himself. He doesn't really care that much about other people's feelings. He can come up and work where he's kind of a shitty boss. Or honestly, just take this how it resonates, but it's somebody that would be stepping on your toes and represents a, a defeat. Because he thinks he's winning, but he's actually losing friends, right? So this is a defeat or a win at a steep cost so honestly that is the same exact thing as this it's the same thing as this the mice is kind of the sneaky conniving kind of energy and the fox is the five of swords kind of energy where he doesn't he's he's He's, he's got something in his fucking closet he wants to, like, rip apart. He doesn't he doesn't really care about other people's feelings. This is cunning. This is deceptive. This is something in a situation that you are now aware of and you don't need in your life. If this is happening to you, then you get to decide where you want to go with this. I don't see any leaving. I just kind of see that the situation is present. It might not be a situation that you are... It might be kind of a situation where you can't fully control what's happening like this is just kind of what's happening in the world but now let's let's put this let's put this in a very specific scenario let's say that this is a job let's say that you just got um laid off from a job they permanently fired you or some sort of bullshit along that lines with what's going on right now it, it made itself aware it's something shitty it's a shitty boss it's a shitty whatever this is it's not a good energy. You are now aware of this energy. You get to decide when things calm down where you would like this to go. And I think you already know where this goes. The High Priestess says that you know where this goes, where this outcome goes. And this is a very high of your self-knowledge, kind of gutly knowing where this goes thinking like okay it's going to be shitty right now and then when it comes around it's going to bite this person in the ass so it might the karma might be coming around right now but it's going to bite this person in the butt the, like if you are thinking that that's your intuition roll with that trust yourself during this time i think you know that this is a not a permanent situation it's i feel like this is very temporary I, this person has made themselves very abundantly aware of who they are and what their fucking true colors are so you don't have to have that in your life if you don't want if it is an event if it is a job and like let's say that you do they come back and they offer you a job after let's say it's a job that's laying you off they're being really shitty this is the person that's doing this energy to you and then they come back around to offer you a job you don't need to fucking no you don't need to take that job back just because they're offering it to you get a fucking new one i'm not honestly i'm i know how like um inconsiderate that sounded but it's you're being shown who you don't need you're being shown right now what you don't need if this person is doing this to you you don't fucking need to take that back you don't need to take that back if it comes back around let's see where this goes for you sag because did i say that this was for sag already because i'm pretty sure i did well if you didn't if you didn't know because i forgot four minutes ago it's this is for sagittarius <laughs> let's uh <laughs> i don't think i said that though i'm not sure but all right, so you are going to be getting healing from this. This is a situation in which you move out of one bad time to a better time. This is travel over water. This does represent leaving a situation. It also represents distancing yourself physically. It represents getting a vacation. Right now, that might be a little hard since everybody's on lockdown, but it represents taking an actual break when you can. Get out of the house, do something, go for a walk, actually distance yourself from the situation to see where you want to go. I, I think you already know where you want to go. I know that you want to leave. I think this is a situation of, well, somebody has shown their true colors, 
bye, I'm out, like, I'm not sticking around for that shit. This is saying that you are healing. It's so moving on from a bad time of somebody that has shown their true colors, and now you're on the road of going somewhere very calm, peaceful, and healing. Better horizons ahead for you, Sagittarius, all right? Don't look at this in such a negative light. There is better shit in a new... Uh, there is better shit coming for you in a new day. You know where this goes, so take trust with that. I think that trust your intuition right now. Honestly, this energy does not suit anyone, so take care during this time. I wish you all the best, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, my moon tribe.